I think that people just, they look at Stout and they say they're not good at volleyball. And it's like, we do put in the work every day and we work hard every day and sometimes it doesn't pay off. And at that point it's like, like what are we doing if we're not winning these games that we should be winning? So when Pam and Mandy left, um, definitely was an emotional roller coaster. I think for a lot of us at the start, um, meeting with them and just having them express to, to us that they were leaving was very shocking to everyone at first. It was hard on all of us because she was there and she was the one who would push us, but also give us that love that a team needs. And I've heard like two different sides of the story, like, oh yeah, I think it's gonna be good for us. And then I also heard like, what are we gonna do? Like, we don't have a coach and everybody was stressing out, like, when are we gonna find a coach? How are we gonna find a coach? When we found out that they selected Ben as our coach, um, immediately all of us were happy. We talked about it previously that you know, he was our number one and we were just praying that Dewey and Aaron saw what we saw in him. We were like, okay, this is gonna be a good season. He's gonna turn our team around. Like I've never seen anyone more passionate about volleyball than him. Do what we're talking about today. We knew that he would take us to the next level and he wanted to push us and that's really like what we needed. I think that he's just gonna bring this program and we're gonna be up there in the top two in the conference, if not one in the conference. We have the ability, we have the skills on this team and the girls to do it. We just gotta believe it. Welcome to Menominee, Wisconsin, home of the University of Wisconsin Stout Blue Devils. But let's face it, UW Stout is not known for its volleyball program. Looking back at last year, we didn't have a leadership that wanted to win as much. Like the vibe on the court was just like not all there and you could tell some people wanted it and some people didn't. We had a good team. Our team chemistry was good. We were always there for each other, but it was the we're not getting pushed to be our fullest potential and we would break in a sense instead of bend, bend, bend and then keep pushing, we would bend, 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 break and then that's when we would lose those tough games. But this year, something is different. Something has changed the culture of the program. That something is the coaching staff. More specifically, Coach Ben Staupe. We were all really excited because he was our top um, prospect and the one that we all wanted as a team. I think he's really passionate about the game. He's got a drive for it. And he's just overall competitive and he brings that into the whole gym. Ben has really lit a fire under our team's butt, like getting the grit out of our teammates. Whereas Mandy, I feel like was vice versa, was more like, hey guys, we're here to have fun. Ben's big thing has been like, we're gonna create this legacy. We take everything 10 times more seriously. We are really like locked in, focused in practice and during games. It's completely different this year. Stoupy's reign as the UW Stout head volleyball coach starts in San Antonio, Texas, as the Blue Devils participate in the Trinity National Invitational. Some of the top teams in the country were waiting for them. When we played in Texas for the first time, we played really good nationally ranked teams. And at first, a lot of our teammates were like, this is scary, like, this is our first game. How are we gonna do this? They're so good. But I'm like, we're good too. It, it's a new year, new team, right? So what do we wanna do? What's our traditions? What's our legacy going to be? Because this is what you're saying this team is, and this is who we're gonna be for the rest of the time, at least that I'm here, the rest of the time you're here. And you can say, you were the people that started this. You were the women that stepped into this situation and said, I was a start of what we just did. It kind of just proved to ourselves that we can do this and we can stick with these big dogs. His pregame talks are always the confidence boost that we need. It's the, you guys know how to play volleyball, you can do it. I want to say it was almost like shocking that it was like, oh crap, we can hang with these teams. We have more confidence. You can tell when we just walk into a place where like we're gonna own this gym, this is our house. Um, so I think we just walk around with a lot more confidence. After the first few, our nerves were knocked off and we could really see what he was like during a game. He gave us a warning that he was gonna get pretty intense. Ladies, ladies, we need some fire. Can you give us fire on the court? 
Okay, then you're going to go in. I think seeing how he really acts during a game is a, truly shows how he is as a coach. And once you got through that, it, we had more trust in him. We know how he's going to be in a game, so we can kind of work around that. In 2021, Stout finished 1-6 in the conference, leading to a dead last ranking in the WIAC preseason polls. Going into the season, we were announced as the underdogs of the conference. Like, nobody expects anything from us. And so, kind of going into the mindset of like, we're the underdogs and we're going to show them what we have. Kind of the mindset that Ben's instilled into us is just, you know, when we play Eau Claire, or Whitewater, or Oshkosh, like this is the national championship. This is where um, it's do or die. And soon enough, people are going to look at us and be like, wow, I don't want to play that team. I think a lot of people forget about us just because we have been at the bottom. So they come into our house acting like they're just going to win it. Anything can happen, like name a time and place, give two teams a chance to play against each other. Anything can happen. I mean, our message to everybody who plays, here we come. Once everything clicks, I think it's going to be scary. Like I said before, any given day you can win, any given day you can lose. And it's honestly just who shows up and who doesn't. And just having that mentality that you want to win all the time and playing these good teams will make you better. And it'll show progress in the long run. The team traveled to an environment that is notoriously tough for most, UW Lacrosse. For Stout P, it was an environment that he knew well. At the UW Lacrosse game, again, my alma mater, it, it's great to always go back there, but that's a tough place to play because it's a bit of a trip. Um, even when I was with the University of Wisconsin Whitewater, I don't even know if we won there, to be honest with you. That was a very tough place to play. And so for us to go in there and win, Stout hasn't had a win there since what, 2013, I believe. So um, to come out of there with that win, they battled. That was a team win. That bench was on fire. Our, our team believed every second of every point that we were gonna win. It was a great win, um, just knowing that you can compete at that level and that you can beat those teams. It's such a confidence boost. Um, the excitement afterwards was just amazing. You know, We knew that we just beat lacrosse and there's no reason why we can't beat these other teams that are um, in our WIAC above them. Stout moves on to UW Platteville, where the two teams ranked in the bottom of the WIAC collide in Stout's first home conference matchup of the season. So with Platteville, we just had a hard time just finding the court. Um, passing was definitely on. Um, we were running, we kind of fell back into what we used to do where we were doing some sky ball setting. We were just hoping that we put the ball away. So we did kind of go back to the drawing board after Platteville. UW Platteville swept the Blue Devils in three straight sets and questions started to circulate around the team. After the game, we fill out reflection sheets and we focus on the positives. And then I feel like in uh, practice, we almost focus on the negatives and work on like what we, did, what we struggled with and stuff like that. We write down what we want to work on, how we're going to make our team better, what we want to communicate on, like just different aspects. It was definitely like, we need to get back into our groove. I know for a fact we can beat Platteville. It's definitely doable. Um, yeah, I think we just had a little off day. And they put us in a lot of tough situations. But I will tell you, if you were at that match, you never saw any give up on this team. Not one cent. When talking about the WIAC conference, one of the teams that's brought up in every conversation is UW Eau Claire, the defending national champions. And for the first time in program history, Wisconsin Eau Claire are the national champions. So I think playing at Eau Claire is probably one of the hardest things to do because it is such a like small area that is filled with so many people around, like surrounding you. I definitely have the mindset that we are beating them, right? You gotta have that competitive drive going into those games. Going into that game, we knew where we were sitting in the conference and the pressure was really on. Yeah, they're the national champs, but anything can happen with volleyball. Anyone can win. <laughs> and you look at it and at first and second set, we're in it. So I was hype and I wanted to win and I wanted to put the ball down their throat. We have nothing to lose, like show them what we got, create our legacy.
The Blue Devils showed grit, toughness, and passion by keeping it competitive with UW-Eau Claire. Whoever watched that match will say they saw the blue-collar, hard-working, stout team, the gritty team that we're looking for. They saw that team. Some of the plays they made, one of our best blocking, you, you out-block one of the best teams in the country, you double their blocks, and then you have some amazing digs. Your libero is a dig leader in the game. Yeah, get up! That's some good team play together, and a lot of people got in that match and were able to contribute, so it was, it's nice to see those things. Stout showed more glimpses of improvements, taking a set from the number nine team in the country, UW Whitewater. But after dropping both games to UW River Falls and UW Oshkosh, their hopes of making the tournament in Stoutby's first year were crushed. However, UW Stout's volleyball program is heading towards the right direction, ready to create a new legacy. Going into next year, I think we can definitely build off of it. And since we do have that good team chemistry, I'm not worried about next season at all. I know it's going to be good. I'm just honored to be a part of this process and be kind of that leader as this moves forward. Um, I feel like the future of Stout volleyball program is definitely going up. It's going in the right direction. I know Ben, he talks about legacy and he's just going to continue building that legacy. And as long as, as well as the girls on this team, I'm so excited to see what happens with it. This the anthem. If you rock it, with it, put your hands up. Yeah. This the anthem. If you get up and get it, put your hands up. Yeah. This one for the winners, if you with me. Yeah. Hands up in the sky, if you feel me. Yeah. This one for the winners, if you with me. Yeah. Hands up in the sky, if you feel me. Yeah. This the anthem. I don't know. Okay, frick. Redo. <laughs> You're good. <laughs> Trying to sound smart. <laughs> <laughs> You're good. Yeah, I'm, it's very tough. Just, loss. just a second. I don't know how you make hype videos for games that we lose. Isn't it just <laughs> brutal? We feel bad for you because you're oh, no, trying to pick. You're trying to pick some good clips from a game that we just sucked in. So I mean, why I ain't ready. <laughs> no. No. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> You get up and get it, put your hands up, yeah. This one for the winners if you with me, yeah. Hands up in the sky if you feel me, yeah. This one for the winners if you with me, yeah. Hands up in the sky if you feel me, yeah. This the anthem. If you rockin' with it, put your hands up, yeah. This the anthem. If you get up and get it, put your hands up.